I'm working over here in the quarry area. I wanted to separate this area from this area by elevation. So I've put a very low piece of foam here. That's about 5 eighths or 3 quarters of an inch. It's, it's an R3. I think they really, it's sized by the R factor. Um, that's the insulation factor. Um, this is a one inch piece and it's glued down now to the piece below it. That will bring it to about three quarters of an inch above over here by the uh, cement plant. So my conveyors will go up and then down into the cement plant. Should be more interesting than just having everything flat. Now above this um, Above this, there will be, well, the, um, let me turn the viewfinder so I can see what you're seeing. The actual um, quarry area will be right here. I think that's plenty big enough. And the rest of it will be a sloped hillside. You know, with trees and forest and maybe a forestry road or something on it. So that's what I'm working on today. I just want... Got it. Oops. I, I just want it to be at a slightly different elevation than... Well, that's pretty cluttered. You can't really see. But you can make out the, uh, the filling area. And uh, this is going to be the quarry over here. I'm working on the quarry. Now, this area here might seem sort of odd. It's a scenic break, but I will plant evergreen trees. That will be densely populated in evergreen trees. And this back here will also have evergreen trees on it. So that it, uh, it will break up your view. You'll know there's a little something going on there, but, you know, that's okay. I, I'd rather not emphasize that track. That track is actually behind um, the scenic track area that I want to portray. All this out here will be scenic. Everything down along the front of the table, but uh, as it as the table goes further to the back, that will be less and less emphasized as actual scenery. And there will be a one foot or so backdrop that comes around and comes out. These tracks will go through it and I'll try to disguise them with trees and things. So that the overall uh, feeling is that you're looking at a diorama more than um, just looking down at a layout. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it all turns out. Back after a while when I get more progress. Okay, I got the cap on. Got some pins to pull out of here. I had to use quite a bit of weight to get it to curve a little bit, and I slid it. Um, 
Over here, I will fill in vertically around here, and then I'll use plaster to uh, finish out the shape. I might bring this back a little further. Not really sure. I, I'm undecided about that. And I'll fill in the back to some degree, give it structural strength, because you won't see that. And because um, this is the viewing side, that's, you know, that's just the back. And uh, so you, you won't see that. I'll have to fill in this side, but the back zine will be up around and come out. So it, uh, it really won't. It's not going to show much. I mean, it shouldn't show at all. My hope. But uh, that's progress so far. So next thing I want to do is I want to paint this. I want to paint it the right color. Um, over there, I just went ahead and put the, well, you can't see it very well. There's too much stuff in the way there. See if I can get that to move. Get this out of your view. But uh, over there, see if we can zoom in a little bit. As you recall, I did not use anything but the grout to color it with. And, you know, it, that, that seems to have worked adequately, but um, outside of that, uh, the area there that's going to be the dead zone as far as vegetation is concerned. Probably want to um, paint it outside that dead zone. I have a good deal more of that to work on up there. And I did get some gray grout, which I've sprinkled around, which has toned things down a little bit. And I think it's closer to a, a gray color uh, on the ground than it is a white, which is, uh, that's pretty white there. And that, but, but I toned it down a little bit. I put some, uh, I put some of the gray grout, I'll show it to you. It's not, it's not dark gray. But it's it's gray. I put it in a the toe of a stocking and sprinkled it around. And uh, when I'm done, I'll, I'll probably spray that to to keep it at least with some some uh, hairspray, if nothing else. I managed to find on, uh, you know, the web, the web page that we all know and love, eBay, uh, that uh, I found a, four coaches to match this set. Um, a dining car, a regular uh, seat coach, and uh, Another baggage car, which I don't have on the train. And a dining car, another dining car. And a dome car. Yeah. So now I have two dome cars. Actually, the the one that looks bluish, if I don't know if you can tell or not, but one of them has kind of a blue look. 
it is uh, actually from a southern set so it doesn't really belong on the on the zephyr but i put a burlington uh sticker on it and uh or transfer so it does now i make it so i found uh three tractors to add to my little tractor collection which will be mounted on a flat car ready to go out from the factory and I found this beautiful, um, beautifully um, weathered boxcar with sliding doors. You don't find sliding doors that often in N scale, but uh, this one has sliding doors. And uh, I also found a different style way car. I used to call them cabooses, but uh, I found out that in the Burlington uh, lexicon they're called way cars so some new additions uh, to the uh, to the railway the railroad it's hard to get out of the habit of saying railway I've said it for so many years so things are coming along um, I also uh, was able to get a set of uh, cheaters glasses that uh, that magnify that that are my prescription uh, when my event happened, it changed my eyes, and uh, I had to get a new prescription, and I've been waiting for glasses to come in. I got a set of hobby glasses and a set of reading glasses, because distance I can still see just fine. But, um, yeah, makes all the difference in the world. It, uh, when you're trying to see little things and you can't see them, and you're guessing, you know, it just doesn't work very well, but now I can see it. So onward and upward. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.